This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Yesterday I talked a little bit about the emotional arc uh, that Peace Corps Lesotho described uh, to me and others in my cohort as we began our time in service and how it was generally accepted that a fast accommodation to change circumstances would become a wall at somewhere around the six month mark, right before we figured out what we were doing and made long-term accommodation for changed circumstances. Well, as it turns out, Peace Corps Lesotho wasn't the first or only place to recognize this pattern. I, I created that chart yesterday from memory, and then uh, in researching some, piece, some pieces on change management for the doctorate program I'm in, um, I, I ran across this, um, which looks awfully familiar. So what's interesting now for me is thinking about where we are as a community, as individuals, as a country, six months into the pandemic. Because I think here's, here's March. And in April and May, we figured out things pretty well. We got used to attending church online, we discovered new hobbies, we named sourdough starters. And then as the summer dragged on, it maybe started to get harder. And now that the school year has started, the fall is coming, the things that seemed novel at the beginning of this are starting to wear thin. Online church the first time is new and different. YouTube the 20th time on Sunday morning starts to lose some of its charm. Especially when we don't know when exactly this circumstance will end. So we see this. It's not a secret. In our numbers on Sunday morning, in the tenor of messages I get on email from congregants, in the world that we all see out on social media, probably the things that I write and send out. You know, it's, it's hard to recognize that we're six months into this thing, and that we have a Nebraska winter and a presidential election bearing down on us. Right now, I really think that we are all collectively at that six-month wall moment. I know I am, and I suspect I'm not alone in it. Of course, I'm a preacher, so that's not the end of the story, but we'll pick up tomorrow.